Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you, Ricardo? Fine. It's uh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Have you been busy? Are, are you yeah. back to work? Yes. Very busy. Very busy. In my work. Yes. Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, Hard working. I, I have uh, to to this this week because uh, we have to improve the production and the quality. Some from the results. Some from the okay. In 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 which department are you in, Ricardo? Uh, in which? Repeat. I couldn't. Uh, uh, which department? Uh, it's a, a, a spinning department. Spinning? A spinning. Okay, and what does spinning do? It's a, a, a yarn, yarn. The spinning yarn is the, the, the whole department. It's a, I, I am cherishing a quality control of so production of, uh, in, in the whole process. Okay, all right. And how many years have you been in that company, Ricardo? It's about 29 years. <laughs> yeah, long time. Yes, a long, long, long time. <laughs> All right, good. Yes. All right, All right. good. Good to have you back here. Veronica, can you hear me? <laughs> Veronica. Maybe she. Hello, how are you? Hi. Okay, is, is everything everything okay with you? Okay. All right, so welcome back everybody. What was that, Veronica? What is it? I can hear you, Veronica. Can you guys hear me? Yes. All right. Yes. All right. So today is June 24th. 2020. We have one more week and we finish the month. So um, let's briefly talk about yesterday. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Um, you remember. One more time. About Verde, I, I think. Yes, there was a conversation about birthdays. Yes. And what is a, what is a traditional birthday in El Salvador? Do you remember? With cake and sandwich? Uh-huh, cake and sandwich. Yes. What about drinks? Horchata. Horchata, okay. Horchata is good. Horchata is good. Okay, um, what else did we do besides talking about birthdays? Do you guys remember? Do you remember grammatics? We, uh huh. Yes, Kim. I think. Well, I remember that I was. I was. I was speaking about. I was talking about give and. 
when was my my best birthday and the worst uh -huh. and other okay other okay so do you guys think that birthdays are better now or when we were children Yeah. It depends. Yeah, it depends too. It depends because too. Now you like the beer. So <laughs> when you were a kid, <laughs> when you were a kid, you didn't like it. Anyway, right. Like yeah, but I, but I think that you know, like when you're a child, you enjoy everything much more yeah. than how you do it now. You Everything is more natural, more transparent. So I think it's better in, in, in many ways. But like Manuel said, you know, like it depends. <laughs> All right. Any questions or comments about uh, yesterday? Grammatically speaking, what was the topic? What were we practicing? Do you remember past models? We were using should and good. Uh huh. In which form? Past. Uh huh. In past. So remember, past. should, could, must, they are models. So, yeah. in, a, in a very general way, they function in a particular way. But if you use them in past tense, if you use the same models, should, can, could, might, whatever, if you use them in past tense, the structure is, is different. So you have to be careful when, 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 you're, when you're expressing ideas related with the past tense, okay? Um, any questions or comments before we start with the first activity? For the ones that were absent yesterday, um, let me show you what we are talking about. We are right here. Mm -hmm. Let's see this. All right, let me see. Teacher, next yeah. week we, we are going to finish the course, then let the level. Uh, yes, we finish tomorrow. Tomorrow is our um, last official day. So okay. uh, anybody can pass to the next level if you finish 80% of all the work in the platform. So you guys have until this coming Friday, so you basically you guys have two days to finish all the work. So I expect that you guys are um, doing the platform at least on a weekly basis. So you don't accumulate that much work. Yes. Okay. I I today, today I finished the platform, but I have some mistakes in that, in some parts, and I don't know if, if it is good, it is bad, or if I have, if, I don't oh, know, it's okay. a problem to no. pass the level. No, uh, so you finish all the platform. What percentage did the platform tell you that you have? I think that because uh, the platform I, tells you, okay, you have finished all the course and it gives you a score. Like you have 95, you have 89, you have 87. So if you haven't checked that one, go back and, and, and the platform will tell you. Okay. I oh, uh -huh. can't see anything. Because I I finished that I'm sure that I finished but I finished but I don't I didn't see anything but I am going to check tomorrow. 
Right. Because, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, everybody needs to double check and make sure that when you are finished, the platform is going to give you a number of the score that you obtain at the end. So it will say, congratulations, you have a diploma uh, with a 84, 86, 91, 93. So everybody gets a different score according to how much work you finished in it. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm going to receive a diploma in okay. each one or? Yes, uh, when you finish, the platform gives you the option that you can print the diploma saying that you finished the level. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thank All right. You. Any other questions or comments? Uh, uh, Yes, and to next level, we are going to receive an email to. Okay, uh, that, that's a enroll, enroll. Uh, that's a good question. Did you receive an email uh, where Inglés Corporativo is inviting you to enroll to the two hour program? Everybody, the question is for everybody. Did, did you receive an email where they invite you to be part of a two hour program? Yes. No. I, I no. No, I, I don't. I didn't receive, I, I didn't I, receive. Haven't, I haven't received anything yet. Okay. So, um, Hello? yes. Hello. So let, um, you should have received an email where they invite you to be part of the two hour program. It's the same. The only difference is that it's five days a week and every session is two hours. Oh. So let me, let, me, um, let me ask and I will have that information ready for you guys tomorrow. Okay. Yes. You hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I received the the, the, the email uh -huh. with the information, but I don't understand if it's the mandatory to do the two hours, or we can continue with this similar to this model. No, here's the thing: uh, the one hour class will disappear except for the beginner courses. They can, they can stay. But oh. you guys, uh, if you're interested in, 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 in receiving the classes, it has to be for two hours. But you don't have to be physically connected to two hours. So you guys can incorporate later and that's not a problem. Okay. Uh, in, my, in my case, a problem is in, in Friday, I can connect it. That, that's uh, okay. That's yeah. not a problem. That's not a problem. Because uh, Insafor gives you the, the, the chance to miss four classes in the month. So let's say, look, I have, a, I have something to do on Fridays, Wednesdays, whatever. If it's once a week, it's, it's permitted. So you can miss one class out of five. Okay. So it, it's, it's not a problem. So you can enroll. And I said the, the, the hours, it's the eight at 10 p.m., right? Right, they, we have from six to 8 p.m. And then the other option is from eight to 10 p.m. Whatever okay. is best for you, six to eight or eight to ten. Um, okay. And, and how many how many units do I have to complete to pass this this uh, um, level? Uh, you need to because finish. I I I did the the mid exam yesterday, and and before the the class uh, began, uh -huh. I was. Um, watching some videos in, in platform about the um, the adverse and more of possibilities. Okay. So if um, 
you need to finish 80% of all the work in the platform, 80%. And when you get to that 80%, the platform tells you, uh, look, you have 80% of the, of, of, of the work. Now, they're not telling you stop right here because the idea is to score as, as high as possible. So 80% uh, is the minimum. Okay. I, I think right now I am in unit four, section four or five. Okay. So you need to finish unit five as well. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yep. Any other questions about uh, the platform or the next, how to enroll to the next uh, course? No? All right. No, okay. Uh, do you guys see the image? Yes. Okay. What's the name of the conversation? What's what happened? happened? What happened? Exactly. Can you give me a description of the picture? Uh, two persons. There is a couple. Are you talking. Okay. Two people are talking. A couple, maybe. They are in a, in a meeting. Okay. Where do you think this meeting is? In a party. Party anywhere in particular? I think it's a barbecue. Okay, barbecue. how do you know it's a barbecue? What's the name of the machine you use to cook? How do you say parrilla in English to cook? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do. You just forgot. Remember, you say grill. Ah, grill. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Grill. Yeah. Oh. Grill. Yes, grill. So, uh, yes, there is a grill. Maybe they will prepare food. So, um, what is this guy wearing? How is he dressed? Uh, like, mm, maybe in that place there are a pool. Okay, maybe. Uh, there is a pool. Okay, it's very possible, you know, that there is a barbecue and there is a swimming pool too, right? Or maybe they, they are close to the beach. Okay, that's another possibility too. A beach, a lake, a river, who knows? Yeah. So, according to the picture, how is the weather? Is it fresh, hot, cold? What do you think? It's a, it's a whole uh, hot because uh, the 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 short pants wearing a short pants. Yeah, the guy is wearing shorts. Yeah. Yes, what, what? and also it's sunny. Yeah, yeah, sandals, right? Probably twelve o'clock. And both are wearing like a comfort. Um, Sandals, yeah, yeah, true. Okay, so um, we have how many people in the conversation? Two, two people. Okay, so we have Jackie and we have Bill. Yeah. So I need Jackie and I need Bill. Who wants to read? Who wants to be Jackie? 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 Kimberly. <laughs> uh, Kimberly? Okay, okay, you're Jackie, Kimberly. And who's Bill? <laughs> okay. I'm a volunteer. <laughs> All right. I'm a volunteer for a Bill. Um. All right, okay. so let, let's do it. One, two, three, go. You asked Ben to be here around seven, did you? So what time is now? It's almost eight. I wonder what happened. Mm, she might have forgotten the, the time. Why don't I call uh, and I see if she's on her way? A few minutes later? 
and okay. I, I I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her mm -hmm. car could have broken down or something. Of course, she might have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about about it yesterday. I guess we should start with her without her. All right, good. Thank you. All right. Um, any questions about uh, pronunciation or meaning of words? So, what is the first sentence with models in past in the conversation? She might have forgotten. Uh-huh. She might have forgotten the time. How do you say that one in Spanish? Debió haber olvidado. Ella debió haber olvidado la... Okay, let me ask you this. What is the function of might in a general way? When do you use might? It is a possibility. Uh, uh -huh. when, you're, when you are not sure about something. Okay, when you're not sure about something, it's only a possibility. So you Ella say... Podría haberlo olvidado. Ajá, podría podría haberlo olvidado. Pudo haberlo olvidado. Do you guys remember the difference between may, might, and could? May, yeah. might, and could are used to express possibilities. But um, could is more possible than may. And may is more possible than might. So when she says she might have forgotten the time, ella pudo haber olvidado. When you're saying might, that means that the possibilities are very small. It's like no. possibility. Yeah, it's a slight possibility. So look at the second one. She must not have turned on her cell phone. She must not have turned on her cell phone. How do you say mm -hmm. that one in Spanish? Not turn it off. She must not have turned on her cell phone. Ella debería tener encendido el teléfono. It's a negative must, sentence. She must not have turned on. Ella no debió haber tenido. Uh -huh. No debió haber encendido. Uh -huh. Exactly. Now remember that we use, right, so we use no. must under two circumstances. When something is mandatory, you go to the doctors and the doctor tells you, you must take your medicine. You must see me every month. It's mandatory. Mm -hmm. Or when you're very sure about something. So in this case, no debió haber encendido su, su, su celular. So I got her voicemail. So he is very sure that the only explanation for that situation is that she didn't turn on her cell phone. So, no debió haber encendido el celular. Now, what about the other one? Her car could have broken down. Could have broken down. How do you say that okay. one in Spanish? Su carro debió haberse arruinado. Descompuesto. Pudo haberse arruinado. Pudo haberse arruinado. And, and, the, and the reason why I'm making emphasis when you are um, translating is because uh, I want you to realize that the message changes according to the model that you're using. So when you say, her car could have broken down. Now that is more possible than the first one, which says she might have forgotten the time. So I'm just saying it, uh, but I don't really mean it. 
Now, when you say her car could have broken down, that is very possible. That's a very good explanation. Su carro se pudo haber arruinado. What about the other one? She may have simply forgotten. She may have simply forgotten. Uh, she may have simply Ella pudo haberlo olvidado. Uh -huh. olvidado. Uh, ella pudo simplemente haberlo olvidado. Yeah. And then the answer is, she couldn't have forgotten. How do you say that one in Spanish? Ella no podría haber olvidado. Uh -huh. Ella no podría haber olvidado. So as you can see, she might have forgotten the time. She must not have turned on her cell phone. Her car could have broken down. She may have simply forgotten. You have four different sentences with models in past. And every sentence has a different meaning. And that's the idea of, of models in English. They give a specific meaning to the verb. So it's, it's not only should and would, as we were discussing yesterday, but you can include any model in the past tense. Any questions about this conversation? No. no. Okay, let me um nine to ten. Da -da -da. Da -da. Nine to ten. Take a picture. I will have you guys read um the conversation and analyze it. So I'm sending you the image to the WhatsApp chat, but if you want to take a screenshot from the computer, you're free to do it. So what you need to do, you guys will work together, you guys will read the conversation, uh, but it's not only reading. I want everybody here to understand how to use past models. Are the instructions clear? Are the instructions clear? Yes. Okay, so let me assign you. Here we go. Veronica, uh, I am uh, I am Bill and you you are uh, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's start. <laughs> okay. Debió haber olvidado. Ella debió haber olvidado. Okay. And the second. 
The second one. She must not have turned on her cell phone. She must not have turned on her her cell phone. Mm -hmm. Remember that must remind a necessity or be oblique to. And when else today? No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talking to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. Okay. Manuel. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay, Mike. Uh, can you start, please? Yeah, uh, we are going to be Jack. Uh, you asked Beth to be here around seven. She's not she sure. Mustn't have turned on her cell phone. She's thinking. I guess she had his her cell phone off. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, what is the other? Mm, the next one. Her car could have Bill again. Broken. Bill again. Of course, of course, she may have simply forgotten. No. Something. If before the before is with Jackie. Jackie speak and tell her, her car could have her car, broken her down. Her car could have broken down. Uh, or something. Yes. Hey, her car could have broken down or something. Mm -hmm. Cool. She considered that it's more Mas possible. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she might have simple forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about, about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what else? Any okay, questions? We, 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 we. No, not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. Any questions about the conversation you guys just read? No, no questions? No question. Okay, so let me um, show you, um, where is this? Okay, do you guys see the document? Um. Yes, the past yes. model situation. Right, yes. Okay. So, um, the first scenario that we have, it says, I told my brother a secret and he told everybody. What, what is your opinion about that? How can you tell this person something about he or she shouldn't have done. He, his oh, brother is do this. Okay, so uh, mm. the brother shouldn't have done this. Shouldn't have 
done this. How do you tell this person no le hubieras contado? How do you tell this person no le hubieras contado? You shouldn't have told. Good. You shouldn't have told him. Tell him. Tell him. Right. You shouldn't have told him. Okay. What about the second scenario? I'm sorry. I shouted at you. What is shouted? What is the meaning? Or okay. Sorry. Can somebody use a synonym for shouting? Cry or speak loud. Yes. Speak um, loud or, or scream. Um, so let's say the person is having differences with you and he or she lost control and they shout at you. But then this person apologizes. So what do you do? What do you say in that case? I'm sorry, I shouted at you. What do you tell the person? You shouldn't, should have, have shut up. Maybe shouldn't. someone, someone raised the voice to another people. Right. So what do you say in that case? Ah. When you speak mm. loud, uh, you are not going to, res to solve the situation. Okay, but how would you say that in, in, in using past models? Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm sorry. You should uh, you shouldn't have shot at me in that way. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Apollo guys. <laughs> okay, so so how do you say me pudiste haber lastimado? How would you say that in English? You <laughs> You, you should might, have heard my ears. <laughs> you might, you might have, uh, oh, I forgot the uh -huh. damage. Hurt. 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 You could have hurt, hurt me. Uh huh. Hurt. Yeah, you could have hurt me. You, you could have could hurt. Have. Me. Now have. remember what I told you yesterday that native speakers, when they use past models, they usually use contractions so they say you could have you could have broken my heart you could have hurt me you could have made me feel bad and so on okay what about number three she left home late there was a lot of traffic she was late for work what do you recommend to this person to this lady How do you say, no se hubiera acostado tarde? Well, she, she left home late. She mustn't, she mustn't have slept uh, late. To late. Late. Night. So she mustn't have gone to sleep late. Uh, gone. Or she mustn't have gone to bed late. Okay, um, any questions about the first three scenarios? For every scenario, maybe for at least uh, five of them, you need to reply back by using past models. So number four says you didn't text, I was getting worried. I watched a horror movie, I couldn't sleep that night. My bike was stolen. The reason may be that I didn't lock it up. I spent all my money on cosmetics and, and shoes, and now I'm broke. So any questions about the scenarios that we have here? No. No? Okay, so let me take a picture of this. 
Nine to ten. Got these here. Coach, do you yes. know if something is happening with the signal? Because there are three three classmates that are asking they can why they cannot get in to the class. Um maybe well, it rained hard here earlier on, so maybe it's the, I don't know if it rained where they are. That's the only explanation that I can say, yeah. the rain. Okay. okay. So maybe where they are, it, it rained a lot and, and maybe that's the reason why they cannot connect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So once again, um, I sent you this image to the to the WhatsApp chat so you guys can discuss it. And ha, ha, ha. so we're going to have move to group four and. Room two, room four. Then we change Rick, Himmler, and here we go. All right, so there you are. That's like a word. <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, yes, sir. What, what drum uh, means? Uh, where are you? In the, in the in the three cases, in the you didn't tell me that you can swim. You almost oh. drown. Yeah, drown. Drown is when 
Like if you don't know how to swim, the result is that you will die under the water. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Mm. You use the past participle. In this case, it would be you shouldn't have forgotten. No. Which one are you doing? Number one. The number one. Uh, you didn't text? This one here? No. Can you my read? Bike, my bike was stolen. Oh. Yeah, my bike was stolen. Uh -huh. The reason may be that I didn't lock it up. Okay. So what is your response to that particular situation? Um, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Um, you should. You should no. have gone. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> you should have gone walking. Uh -huh. uh huh. Or you can say <laughs> you shouldn't uh, forgot the the put safe the bike. <laughs> okay, you shouldn't have forgotten. I want the end of Veronica. Okay, um, to leave the bike safe. Right. Good. That's a good one. I said you should. You should have. You should. You shouldn't have. Left the bike with that with that lock. Uh huh. Good. Okay. To you, you must have told me that you can swim. Yeah. You must have told me that you can swim. You can swim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next one. Um, I didn't study last night, and I decided to watch. To be instead of instead, so uh, yes, I I'm not sure that yes, I I think okay the next one. Okay, I called my boyfriend last night, and we ended up quarreling. 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 Mm -hmm. What does it mean? I'm not sure. Quarreling is uh, when you're fighting. Ah, uh, okay. But it's only speaking, oh, it's your fault, you didn't give me money, and blah, blah, blah. It's, you're having oh. differences. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have quarreling. Quarreling. I'm not. I shouldn't have quarreled with him. Okay. I shouldn't have quarreled with him. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Or how do you say, me, uh -huh. I shouldn't call him. <laughs> I shouldn't have. I shouldn't call have called him. Yes. Okay. That would be like the best medicine. Like, why call him? <laughs> how do you say, Pudiste haber sido más paciente. You could have, you could have, I have problem with the contraction. Okay, I could have, I could have, I could have been more, more impatient. More, more patient. patient, more patient, yeah. good. I could have been more patient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You couldn't be being more patient. I could have been more patient. Yes, good. About the latest schedule. So I got, oh my God. <laughs> so I got fired. What about the question? I was about the, the latest schedule. The, late, the latest schedule. The schedule. Uh -huh. So I got tired. I got fired. I got fired. Uh, fire. Yeah, fire. fire. Yeah, so I got Thanks. fired. 
Thanks, teacher. Sure. About the latest. You should. You should have. Uh, you should have informed. Okay, so the, the victim is yourself when you say, I wasn't informed about the latest schedule, so uh, I got fired. So you said, ellos debieron haberme informado. How will you say that in English? Uh, um, they, 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 they should have informed me. Exactly. They should have informed me. Yes. They should have informed me. Good. What will you say for that situation, uh, Manuel? Mm. Maybe it was more like an obligation. So right. they, from the they, other side. They must, they must have informed me. Yeah. Yeah, because it wasn't your fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay. Next, Next. Borrowing, you borrowed my laptop and now it doesn't work. You, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't have borrowed your, your laptop. <laughs> okay, do you remember <laughs> yes, the difference you have to... between borrow and land? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Okay. So your sentence is good, but change borrow for land. Mm -hmm. Okay, you sh You should have know. You should have know. Land mm. your computer. Okay, you shouldn't you shouldn't have shouldn't know. Uh-huh. I'm not sure. You shouldn't have. <laughs> Lend your computer. computer. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The next one. I, a, I saw a classmate being upgraded. Excuse me? You should have been upgraded. Which one are you doing now? You Number should have. Which one? I was an informant about the last oh. special, so I got fired. Okay. So was it this person's fault or the person that did not inform? Did not inform. Exactly. The people that did not inform are responsible for this situation. So how do you react to this particular scenario? Maybe I maybe yeah. you shouldn't have a ask about your schedule. Okay. Before the finish. Okay. You should you should have spoken with your boss. Exactly. Exactly. You should have spoken with your boss. They should have checked your schedule before making the decision. How do you say pudiste haber hablado con el gerente? You should have talked with the manager. Okay. You should have spoken with the manager. You should have talked with the manager. You could have talked with the manager. So. You should have. Good up. Okay. All right. So let's return to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Are there any questions about past models? So this is one of the topics where you have to practice a lot. Just like okay. any other aspect in life, practice makes perfect. And when we're talking about the language, this is one of the topics where people um, need to practice as much as possible. Any questions or comments before you are dismissed? No teacher. No? No. Okay. 
So, Maybe uh, what is it? Maybe about the platform. Okay. When, when do we have to finish it? Uh, you have until Friday, this Friday. Okay, because I have, I have had problems with the um, points five, five point four. Five point four. That was you asking uh, earlier. Uh, yeah, but I think that I have the right um, answer. Answers. Uh -huh. maybe it's a problem of typing or punctuation. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So uh, send me. Uh, you you're in the chat, so I will send you the, uh, the image. The image, so you can compare your answers. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Uh, any other questions or comments, people? No. Okay, so once again, thank you very much. Remember that we finish tomorrow. Don't be absent and have a good night. 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 Good